Sayyidina Hamza and the realizations of those sifat, Sayyidina Hamza, he was a provider. Sayyidina Hamza, he was a protector. Sayyidina Hamza, he was a lover. Sayyidina Hamza and all those sifat that were beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are beloved to the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sahi wa sallam. His name means lion. Hamza means lion, yani. That, that they're the king of the jungle of planet Earth, but becomes a greater king in paradise. As the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa called him, Sayyid al Shuhada. That is the lion's lord, the master of all martyrs. And as we heard, how many from the Humbawa martyrs, Abu Bakr martyr, Umar martyr, Uthman martyr, Ali martyr, Hassan martyr, how many of them were martyr? But Sayyidina Hamza, Sayyid, Sayyiduhum, Sayyidina Hamza Abdul Muttalib, people who know the art of war know that we've not produced greater than him. Sayyidina Hamza, never been produced alike to Sayyidina Hamza, radiallahu anhu wa rda. Sayyidina Hamza, when he goes to war, he wears one of the symbols in the ancient world of power and virility. And, war and sovereignty, which is the ostrich, the feather of the ostrich. He puts an ostrich into his armor. Why? Here I am. Again, he stands upon the battlefield. Ana Asadullah. I am the lion of God. Warasul. I am the lion of the messenger of God. Hakada Sayyidina Hamza. With two swords inside of his hands, radiallahu anhum wardahum. We have never known greater than him in the art of war. Sayyidina Hamza. But that was a skill. Marasa. That he perfected fil jahiliya. In jahirun fil jahiliya, khairun fil islam. In his teens, he fought at Fijar. Sayyidina Hamza radiallahu anhu wa rda. Allah ta'ala rearing the uncle of the Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah ta'ala rearing the brother of the Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to stand in defense of Rasul Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Wa sallam. Don't think Hamza, when he summons people to him, Hamza in, in war, it's about him. It's about diverting them from Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahi wa sallam. That's why you don't hear Uhud. You don't hear about the injury of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam till Hamza has been killed. Till Hamza has been martyred. Radhi Allah ta'ala anhu wa rda. Hamza azim. And Allah jalla jalala wa ta'ad azabatu. A lion that can wrestle lions. Men in our age, we can't wrestle men. We go further. Men in our age can't wrestle women. In the age in which we live in. Hamza, who went to do battle with lions in the jungles of Arabia. And Arabia knows lions over 630 different names in their language for a lion. They know lions, the Arabs. In the age of the Nabi, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa sallam, every one of you by name bring it on, Sayyidina Hamza. He's a lion hunter. Yet if anyone understands anything about a lion hunter, it needs attributes, it needs sifat of rijal. And from the sifat, humility. You see, you want to face a lion, you got to be humble. You want to defeat a lion, you got to be humble. Now, you can't come with arrogance. You can't come with those attributes that Allah Ta'ala says, Oh, key, he finari. You have attributes that are cast you into hell. You're one who's arrogant, puffed up with pride, pompous. Allah Ta'ala cast you, Allah Ta'ala snatch you. Jalla Jalala wa Ta'ala Ta'ala. Now, today, we're in the sifat of Rasulullah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but humble. You got to come in lower than the lion itself. You got to be lower in height than the lion itself. And then you take that opportune moment, and there's only one opportune moment to strike. And that's Sayyidina Hamza radiallahu ta'ala anhu warda. And he, he loved that world. He says, Sayyidina Hamza, Sahib al Samt, who's a person of really good character, Sahib al Sukut, a person who's silent. And he's he, he person, Sahib al Khalwa, he loved, mashallah ta'ala, to be in a state of solitude, to be aloof, away from creation. It's of those who love the natural world of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had a profound love and affinity for animals. Sayyidina Hamza radiallahu anhu warda and a profound love and affinity for the taking the life of animals likewise. And Sayyidina Hamza radiallahu anhu warda on one of those days when he's returning back to Mecca to al-Mukarram radiallahu anhu warda and then he engages a woman. This woman is one of the freed slaves of Abdullah ibn Jud'an. Those who know Sir Abdullah bin Judan, the great man of Taim, the forerunner of Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, radiallahu anhu wa rda. And this woman, mashallah ta'ala, minding her own business, but then maybe not, yani. And so she overhears and she sees a commotion. And it coming from the direction of Abu Hakam, Abu Jahl, Ibn Hisham, towards the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallahu wa sallam, abusing Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, reviling 
Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa la alihi wa sahihi wa sallam insulting Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on this day Sayyidina Hamza radiallahu ta'ala anhu wa arda'u now when he enters into Mecca to Muqarramah there that woman there so that woman of Abdullah ibn Judan tells Sayyidina Hamza what Abu Jahl has just did to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa la alihi wa sahihi wa sallam where does Hamza head for? Sayyidina Hamza head straight for the Kaaba straight for the man Nine foot in height who just insulted his nephew sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahi wa sallama. Bow in hand. <laughs> you insult my nephew? You gonna insult my nephew? And I'm upon his deen? Hakada. One strike. Can you, can you imagine a man nine foot in height? You see, you know, people now praise John Tewada. Why you put a man who's six foot nine, six foot ten on the ground, yeah? Sure. It's, it's not an easy task to put a man who's six foot nine, six foot ten on the ground. What about if you're nine foot in excess? How are you going to put that man in, on the ground? Hamza, one blow, he puts Abu Jahl upon the ground. And he says, no, you man enough. Here I am in front of you. Here I am. Like you're man enough. You want to sort of test. You know what I mean? Mano to mano, as they say. Man to man, come then. Sure. Not Abu Jahl as he lies. Makhzum. An entire clan rises to come against Sayyidina Hamza. An entire clan you understand, Yanni? Not like, Shuf, you know, leave this one to me. Yanni, the entire clan wants to go for Sayyidina Hamza. And Abu Jahl knows best, let him be. Let him be, Yanni. Yeah, I was wrong. Abu Jahl, I was wrong. I shouldn't have insulted his nephew. Abu Jahl, Yanni. I shouldn't have insulted his nephew. What is that? Cowardice, Yanni. Fiyah, fiyah. When a real man stands in his presence, how can they know now? In the presence of real men, those who have the impression of being uptal, heroic men, shuf, like, like, you get, what's his name there, of, of mice and men, John Steinbeck, like Steinbeck said of mice and men, how often does a man become a mice, mouse, yani? How can they become in the presence of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam? Wa sallam? That means the soul, a lack of salahiyah. There's a lack of receptivity. If there's receptivity in the presence of the Rasul Islam, you become a man. Yeah. Allah. The best of those in jail, the best of those in Islam. You know, Shuf, Sahaba, no Hamza, Yom Badr, yani, arm to arm combat killed 30 people. In war, if anybody has fought the martial arts, you go five minutes. And you don't, you spent, Yanni. He takes the life of 30 people. In Uhud, he'd killed 20 people before he's killed. And then he's killed Khadran. They can't face Hamza. The man's got to be hiding amongst women and looking for the opportune moment to assassinate Sayyidina Hamza. Radiallahu anhu warda. When he would come into Mecca, Sayyidina Hamza, Yanni strapped, as we would say, and he's always strapped, Sayyidina Hamza. When he comes, Look at Sayyidina Hamza, Sifat. Does he go home to his woman, to his beloved? His beloved Allah. His beloved Rasul Allah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. His first place, the Kaaba. That's Hamza. Your two power al Kaaba. Can you imagine? You see, when Hamza's making tuaf around the Kaaba in Jahiliyyah, Nedwa, the men of Quraysh, stand for Sayyidina Hamza. How can they stand for him? How can Hamza know inside of Jahiliyyah? Making tuaf.